Looking for the best AM4 motherboard to build or upgrade your PC? Stick around because we're ranking 5 solid contenders from worst to best and you'll want to see who takes the top spot. Kicking off our list in 5th place is the Tuff Gaming B450 from ASUS. This board has been around for a while and is still a decent performer for budget Ryzen builds, but in today's landscape, it's starting to show its age. With the B450 chipset and no PCIe Gen 4 support, it's falling behind the newer B550 competition. On the bright side, it's built like a tank. Military grade components, a strong 8 plus 2 power phase setup, and an impressive set of rear USB ports make it reliable for basic to moderate use. You've got dual M.2 slots, solid onboard audio with DTS support, and even a BIOS flashback button for easy updates. That's not bad for older gen hardware. But here's where it slips. No PCIe 4.0, no onboard Wi-Fi, and mixed reviews when it comes to system stability under pressure. It can handle a Ryzen 3000 chip sure, but don't expect miracles with newer or higher end CPUs, it's just not built for that. This board is great for someone who's building a simple setup, maybe reusing an older Ryzen chip and looking to save a few bucks. If you're not into overclocking and don't need cutting edge features, it'll get the job done. And hey, don't forget, links to all these motherboards at the best price are waiting for you down in the description. Coming in fourth is a crowd favorite for budget conscious builders. MSI's B550M Pro VDH with built-in Wi-Fi. This little guy is compact, affordable and packs some welcome modern features like PCIe Gen 4 support and dual M.2 slots, which you don't always see at this price point. It also includes Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, which is a huge bonus for folks not wanting to deal with cables or extra adapters. The USB-C front panel header, debug LEDs and BIOS flash button make setup super convenient, especially for beginners. It's a smart pick for anyone upgrading an older system. But it does come with trade-offs. The VRM setup is weaker than others in this lineup, which makes it less suitable for higher end Ryzen chips or series overclocking. Audio is also very basic and the Wi-Fi speeds are a bit on the slower side. It's also a solid board, but definitely not a powerhouse. If you want a reliable motherboard for a mid-tier gaming or office build, this one's a sleeper hit. You get great value, ease of use and just enough features to stay future-proofed without overspending. If you're liking this breakdown so far, hit that like button and subscribe. We've got more top picks coming up next. In third place, we've got the ASRock B50M Pro 4. It brings a great mix of power and features, especially if you're looking to maximize value in a smaller form factor. This board punches well above its weight with a strong 8-phase VRM, PCIe 4.0 support and dual M.2 slots. What really makes this one stand out is how well it balances performance and price. It's more robust than the MSI board, offers better audio with Nahamic enhancements and comes ready for overclocking your Ryzen chip within reason. RGB headers and solid port options round out the package. However, there's no built-in Wi-Fi here, which feels like a miss in this price range. You'll also need to be cautious about BIOS compatibility if you're using a newer Ryzen 5000 series CPU. It may need an update right out of the box. And like others, there are shared lanes between M.2 and SATA, so plan your storage carefully. This is a great pick for gamers or content creators building a compact system who don't mind plugging in a Wi-Fi card or updating BIOS. It feels like a premium board wrapped in a budget-friendly shell. At number 2 is the Gigabyte B550 Gaming X V2, a board that re-delivers for the price. This ATX board has all the essentials you'd want for a gaming build, starting with a strong VRM layout and PCIe Gen 4 support. It's reliable, easy to set up, and gives you more headroom for future upgrades. The integrated I.O. shield, smart cooling design, and Q-Flash BIOS make it super user-friendly. It supports dual M.2 drives, front panel USB-C, and offers good connectivity for the price. If you're not into flashy extras but care about performance and stability, this one nails it. Now what's missing? It doesn't come with Wi-Fi or a heatsink for your M.2 drive, which might matter for some. And while it's solid, it doesn't have the fancier tools or faster networking found on more premium boards. Still, it's one of the most reliable and capable picks in its class. 
For gamers who want power without going overboard on features, this board hits a sweet spot. Great for high performance builds that don't need built in Wi Fi or flashy extras. Taking the top spot is the Gigabyte B550 Eagle with Wi Fi 6. This board offers the best mix of performance, connectivity, and cooling features of the bunch. It's well designed, full sized, and has all the power you need to drive Ryzen 5000 CPUs with ease. Its 10 plus 3 plus 1 VRM is top tier at this price, backed by solid thermal armor and high efficiency heatsinks. Add in Wi Fi 6, PCIe Gen 4, dual M.2 slots, Q Flash BIOS, and Smart Fan 6, and you've got a board that's ready for anything whether that's gaming, editing, or heavy multitasking. Are there a few nitpicks? Sure. The secondary M.2 shares bandwidth with SATA, and the PCIe slot latch might feel flimsy, but those are minor complaints in an otherwise excellent design. This is the board you grab when you want it all. Speed, stability, and future-proofing, without going overboard on cost. If you're aiming for a strong Ryzen setup with all the latest features, the Eagle is the one to beat. That wraps up our list of the best AM4 motherboards ranked from weakest to best. Check out the links in the description for the best deals on all the boards we cover today. And if you found this video helpful, be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss our next one.